a colleague just handed this torn paper to me, saying that these are today's sales. Copy them to Excel. Am I going to type all that? I am Nabil Murad. A new feature has been recently added to Excel, allowing us to get data directly from picture and then be able to analyze it as needed. Let's have a look. I scanned the paper my colleague gave me and I saved it as a picture and I opened a new blank Excel workbook where I'll be importing the data from picture. I go to the data tab of the ribbon and on the data tab I click on from picture. I have two options getting a picture from file which is what I'm going to use right now or getting a picture from clipboard. I click on picture from file. I have to browse to the location of the picture. I saved it somewhere on my desktop. Here is the picture and I hit insert. A pane opens on the right side. Data from picture. It shows me the data and it gives me the option either of inserting it directly or reviewing it first. When I click on review, it highlights some of the records that might have errors. I can review these records, accept them one by one, and when I'm done, I want to insert in the selected cell, I click insert data. I have to confirm, and here is the data, that's amazing. I can see the data all inserted in columns A and B. I want to go right away and prepare for my analysis. Then I'm going to convert this list into a table by hitting the shortcut Control T. On the table design tab, I can name my table from picture. And then I want to send it to Power Query to split the multiple pieces of information in column A into multiple columns. I click on the data tab of the ribbon. I click on from table range. Power Query opens on top of Excel. I'm going to change the query name, proper data. I want to split the client's column. Right click and then split column by delimiter. The split column by delimiter dialog box opens. It picks up the correct delimiter, which is a comma. I want to split at each occurrence. I hit OK. And now we have a nice data set. Let's review the column headers. This is the client name. I rename it client. And then this is the address. Here is the city. And this is the state. Let's review the data type. All of them are text. With the exception of the amount, I want to change it to currency. And now I can send my data back to Excel by clicking on close and load. It will be added into a new worksheet. This is a nice normalized data set that can be sorted, that can be filtered, that can be analyzed. And it all started from a picture. If you enjoyed this training video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel to be notified when new tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.